everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. And I'm here today to talk to you about another exciting collaboration that I've got in the works. So this time I'm collaborating with two wonderful ladies, Emma from So Do It Emma and Adele from Sew for Serenity. Please do go and check out their channels if you don't follow them already. So I think Emma had been talking about making the Pietra pants by Closet Core Patterns and it's a pattern that I've had printed out for the longest time and never actually made. My mum has made a few versions of the trousers and always looks fabulous in them but I've never actually made them and then over the summer Jess from So What If I Sew made some Pietra shorts and my goodness I fell in love with that pattern absolutely loved the style of them and I knew that I had to get them sewn up. So I actually messaged Emma and said, oh, I really want to make the Pietras too. Should we do a little collaboration? It will incentivize and motivate me to actually get on and make them. And Emma said, well, myself and Adele are already planning a little collaboration, but you are welcome to join us. So I muscled my way in there <laughs> and I'm joining the lovely ladies on their collaboration. They are also adding in a top as part of the collab, which is the Cielo top, again by Closet Core Patterns. So I'm really excited to be working on these two patterns with these two fabulous ladies. Closet Core Patterns are a pattern company that I love and whenever I make anything of theirs, I really love the finished result and I love the sewing process. You'll know recently that I made the Plateau Joggers and the Myelin sweatshirt as part of a collab with Rachel and Ruan. And yeah, Closet Core Patterns are just one of my absolute faves. I really, really like them. So here we are again, and these two patterns are part of the Rome collection. Hands up, I had never been interested in the cello top or dress. I didn't think it was my style and it's not something that ever grabbed me. It looks amazing on other people, but I just didn't ever think it was for me. So when the ladies said that they were doing this as part of their collab, I kind of went a little bit, <gasps> maybe I shouldn't get involved and then I thought no push yourself out of your comfort zone make it work for you so that's what I'm going to do the cello top then is an easy breezy take on a boxy tee and it's also a shift dress so there are various views lots of interesting details and features that you can chop and change to make it your own so you can either make view a which is quite a cropped top and it's got a short sleeve with a cuff you can make that same top with dramatic gathered long sleeves. Now, I realised a while ago that the whole dramatic, billowy, voluminous sleeve, it's not for me. I tried it when the whole trend kind of started and I just realised it's not for me. Anything I made with a sleeve like that has gone the journey. I don't wear it, I've passed it on. So it's not my style, I've realised that. And just because it's a trend, hi Chester doesn't mean we all need to get involved with it. So that's fine. I've accepted that the dramatic sleeve life is not for me. <laughs> so I won't be making that version. Then view C I do really like, and I feel like this could be something that I might make in the future. And it's an easy fitting dress. It's got really sleek inseam pockets. So it looks really smart and chic. And then you've got view D, which is the same dress without pockets, but it's got those dramatic sleeves again. So not for me. The pattern itself comes in sizes 0 to 20 which is in paper pattern and PDF format or the 14 to 32 size range is in PDF only. The 0 to 20 size range then goes up to a 46 inch bust starting at a 31 inch bust and the hips are 33 inch up to a 48 inch and then the 14 to 32 size range takes you from a 42 inch bust up to a 60 inch bust and a 45 inch hip up to a 63 inch hip so a great size range there i do think it will be lovely at some point if closet core created paper patterns for their 14 to 32 size range. I think a lot of people would like that. I did hear Emma mention that there may be a rumour that that is going to happen. So if that's the case, I think that would be fantastic. In terms of fabric suggestions then for the cello, you can 
change up your fabric depending on the look that you want to achieve with this pattern. So something more drapey and fluid is going to give you a softer look. If you want something a bit more structured, you want to use a more stable fabric. It's designed for woven fabrics. So, you know, something like a linen, a chambray, a cotton, that's going to give you more of a structured look. Something like a viscose, a tensile, a silk, you're going to achieve a really flowy, romantic kind of vibe. So, the fabric that I'm going to be using. So as I said, we've got Ziggy here as well now. As I said, I'm going to be making view A, which is just the simple cropped boxy tee. It's got slightly dropped shoulders. It's got, has it got bust darts by the looks of it? And the little cuffs. So the fabric I want to use for my final version is this gorgeous Lady McElroy cotton lawn that I got at the knitting and stitching show. I got this as a remnant. It's about 1.1 meters, which I think will be sufficient. And I got it for only 12 pounds, which was great. And it's this cool girls one. I just love this. And I think because the cello top is quite a simple, style with not a lot of seam lines i think this will work really well it's not going to break that pattern up but this is not a precious fabric but i only have a small amount of it and i don't want to waste it if the garment's not going to be for me so i am going to make a twirl first it's going to be hopefully a wearable twirl something that i can actually wear and enjoy wearing if it works fine but also at the same time if it doesn't work out great it's not the end of the world. And I actually have two and a half meters of this fabric. So I have plenty to play with. And it's the cotton that came in the last So Haley Jane box. It's this lovely magenta color with this geometric design all over. So I think that's going to make a really lovely, simple, boxy top. That fabric is a little bit stiffer and more stable. So it is going to give me quite a structured look. The Lady McElroy Cotton Lawn is softer. It's still not really fluid and drapey, but it will give a slightly softer look. So I just need to bear that in mind when I make my garment. And then onto the Pietras. So as I said, it was the shorts version that I think I really, really fell in love with. Jess has raved about hers and has worn them so much. She made them in a denim and they look amazing on her and they look like a real wardrobe staple. Now, obviously we are now in autumn, going into winter as well. But I really like a pair of shorts with tights and boots in the winter. I like that as a look. Then I can wear like a nice cosy jumper, a scarf, a hat. But I like to have that, the shaping of your legs in a pair of tights and then a nice pair of shorts over the top. I think it looks really cute. So with that in mind, I'm going to make the shorts version of the Pietras. The Pietras are a flat fronted, high waisted trouser and short. So I really like the flat front to reduce bulk around the tummy area, but then you've got the high waist, which I really like. That's my style of trouser and shorts that I like. I like something that comes up really high and accentuates the smallest part of my body. Then there's an elastic uh, waistband at the back, which then makes that really, really great for shaping and the fitting isn't a real challenge because you can bring it in by shortening the elastic. It's got these really interesting pockets, which are slanted hip pockets, and they're a really unique feature of this pattern. And they just pull on and off, which is great. So they're really comfortable and convenient, really re nice and straightforward. They're not going to be hugely complicated to make. There's no zips or buttonholes or anything like that. So hopefully quite a straightforward make. There are four different versions of this pattern. So you've got, the wide leg style, which you can make in either a floor length or a cropped version. You've then got the more tapered leg, which is a slimmer look. And then you've got the shorts, which are slightly flared. And like I say, that is the version that I am going to make. The sizing is the same that I mentioned earlier because they use the same size chart for all of their patterns. And then in terms of fabric suggestions, again, you can use different fabrics depending on the look you want to achieve. So if you want something a bit more defined and structured, you want to use a more structured woven fabric like a linen, like a chambray, like a lightweight denim or a twill. If you use something heavier weight, you're going to get a lot of bulk around the elasticated waist at the back, so it's probably not going to look too great and might be a little bit uncomfortable too. So you still want something sort of light to medium weight that isn't going to be too bulky. If you want something a bit more swishy and a bit more glamorous, again, you could use your more drapey fabrics like a viscose, rayon, chalet, a tensile, a silk, something more fluid like that. I, like I say, I'm going for the shorts. 
and Ziggy is sitting on them. So excuse me, this fabric is black and I'm going to hold it up and it's going to be covered in cat hair. Cat mom life. Ziggy, can I have it please? Can I have my fabric? <laughs> can I have it? Thank you. So the fabric I've got, I actually initially bought to make the saguaro pants from Freya Pattern Company and I never got around to making those. So it's a fabric I've got in my stash. I wanted to use something from my stash rather than going out and buy something specific. And I just think a black pair of shorts is going to be super versatile. So it's this one, which is a vintage cotton from First for Fabrics. So it's got kind of like a crinkly washed look to it and texture. It's like a medium weight. It's got a little bit of like drape but I just think a nice high-waisted pair of shorts in that is going to be a really versatile garment that I could wear different colour tights underneath and I think it's going to be really great for my autumn winter wardrobe and I think it's going to work perfectly with so that the white you can see is just overlocking where I overlocked the edges before I washed it so I think that as an outfit is going to look gorgeous and then I think that as an outfit is going to look gorgeous so those are my Cielo and Pietra plans. So we're aiming to get these made up and revealed to you around the end of November, we hope, but obviously delays could happen, but we'll try our very best. Do let me know down below if you have made either of those patterns. I would love to hear from you and any advice that you've got around either of those patterns would be great to hear. What do you think of my choice of fabrics? Do you like them? Do you think they will suit my style? And I'm really intrigued as to what versions and what fabrics Adele and Emma are going to be using too. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you don't already subscribe, I would love it if you could click that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did want to support my channel in a monetary way, then you can click the thanks button or you can send me a coffee on my Kofi account. That'd be lovely. Or a cup of tea because I don't actually like coffee. I hope you all have a really, really lovely day and I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. You'll know recently that I made the plateau joggers and I can't remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cats are mischievous. There's Chester. <laughs> Chester. <laughs> Bye.